How can Jesus be fully God and fully human? The short answer is, I have no clue. But the Bible does tell us that Jesus, the man who was here on earth, is also God. Now, the Old Testament speaks of God in a couple of different ways. The primary one that they see him and saw him was that he is spirit. He is completely other, unlike anything else in this world. He is divine, this being. But throughout the Old Testament, there is also this secondary person of God called the one like the Son of Man. And this is throughout the Bible. And before Jesus showed up on the scene, this was actually the way that the Israelites believed in, taught, and and talked about God is that he is one God monotheistic in two persons or two powers spirit and one like the son of man the New Testament consistently refers to Jesus as God in the flesh Emmanuel God with us Paul says that he is the complete manifestation of God John tells us that he is from the beginning before time he made all things this is Jesus and Jesus's favorite way to identify himself was to use that Old Testament phrase one like the son of man he identified himself in the third person as the son of man and yet philippians in chapter 2 tells us that jesus god the son emptied himself he was aware of his godness and he said i'm not going to hold on to these things it says he didn't consider his godness something to be held on to but he emptied himself and the greek word literally means to completely remove out to to empty out jesus god the son this second person this second power of god emptied himself of his rights, privilege, and position as God. He didn't stop being God, but he restricted himself to the limitations of a person so that he could save people. You see, when God created the universe and the world and the whole system, he put human beings in charge and he said, you take dominion over everything. Human beings were the ones responsible to maintain the order. Well, when they broke it, it was only by the power of a human being that things could be fixed because that's the way the system was designed. And yet there was no human being strong enough, good enough, powerful enough, holy enough to fix the brokenness of the system. Only God himself is all powerful, all knowing, everywhere at once able to fix the system and yet it has to be done by a person. So God the son, the one like a son of man, empties himself of his godness to become a human being. He's fully God and yet fully human. How does this infinite, immeasurable, uncontainable divine being fit inside of a finite person? And there are plenty of people who try and come up with all these fancy ways of explaining away. This is how Jesus was still God and fully human. And this is how he did all these things because he's God. But this is the way he's limited because he was a human. And we can try and come up with all these fancy ways of explaining God. But in the end, if we're able to reduce him down to some philosophical, logical argument or some scientific experiment, because then we too would be God and human. But Jesus himself seems to be the only one who is fully both and this is probably one of the best examples of where faith comes in faith is this assurance of things hoped for this certainty of things unseen and and when we get to the point where we kind of have to admit like i don't get how it works but i believe that it does this isn't necessarily a bad place to find ourselves when we especially when we ask the question how can jesus be fully god and fully human because even when i don't understand it i can still believe it mm. i love you guys i'll catch you later